guys, so I know that the lighting is shitty and you can probably hear my dryer in the background, but I just got in the mail today my new Fitbit, as you can tell by the title, and I'm so excited to wear it that I have to do an unboxing video just like this. I'm actually on my way to go on a hike, so I wanted to get it turned on and set up and replace my old one before I go on this hike, but I wanted to show you guys it too because I'm so excited. So as you guys know, I love my Fitbits. Ooh, and I had the Fitbit Charge, then the Fitbit Charge HR, then the Fitbit Charge HR2, and now they made the Alta, which is like the thinnest, cute little one, to include heart rate. So that's my number one important thing that I like about my Fitbits, is that they have to be able to show my heart rate. And, oh, here it is. OMG. I got it in black. It does come in a bunch of colors, but um, they all kind of get smudged. And like I had a pink a Fitbit Charge. Was it the Charge HR? Yeah, it was Charge HR, but it, would, it got really dirty within days. So I'm so excited. So this is the Fitbit Alta HR. It is the thinnest one, I believe, that's still a band. I got it in small because this is a small for the HR too, and I have to put it on like the seventh tightening thing. I have to like really tighten it down. Um, so this one does like two more things than this one. This one tracks your stairs. This one does not track stairs, which I'm kind of sad to lose with this one, and I'm kind of like, eh. It has step distance, calories burn, active minutes, reminders to move, and hourly activity. It also has continuous heart rate for better calorie burn tracking, heart rate zones for fat burn, cardio, and peak, resting heart rate trends. It has the auto sleep tracker, sleep quality, time of sleep and awake, silent vibrating alarm, as well as measures exercise, it automatically tracks runs, sports, and other workout exercises, summary. So those are just some of the features of it, which is basically like the same as this one, only a little bit different, like I said. Um, so let's get to opening it. Oh, I'm so excited. <gasps> There it is. Ooh -ooh. Oh, it's so slim. Look at the size difference. Cannot wait to put this on. Oh my God, look at it. It's so much more thinner and petite. I love it, but I could tighten it up to, I like it to sit right here. But I have it, so it's like that. <sighs> Yay, how do I turn it on? This one has a button, so I know how to turn this one on and off. It does come with a charge cord. Probably, that's probably what this is. Yep, same clamp style charger. I have the user's manual so I can figure out how to turn it on. But I have to make this one go far away so my phone can connect to this one. Now I'm going to set up a device. So I actually have to plug it in. Turn it on, dang it. So the Alta HR is updating right now. The battery level is low, so I'm gonna let it charge before I go on this hike and hopefully it takes, I think about two and a half hours to charge from, from dead. At least that was, I think, the Charge HR. I don't know about this Alta. It is slimmer, but I think it has the same battery life. I think this said up to seven days and the charge was like up to five, but the charge has a lot larger screen that displays a lot more lights and stuff. This is it updating. All right guys, so my Fitbit is all set up. Look how skinny it is, I love it. And so all you have to do to turn the clock face on is tap it twice, oops. Or you can like bring your wrist up like looking at a watch and it turns on. But I wanna show you guys the two tap. So that turns on the clock face and if you tap it again, there's your steps. Tap it again, that's your heartbeat. Tap it again, that's your distance calories burned and 41 minutes active already today that's um when your heart rate is in the fat burn zone or higher so i am super loving it it does say for the time you can have it be a vertical or horizontal i decided to do horizontal but it does say uh 4 12 wednesday the 27th my other one did say um the, the month as well so that's something I'm gonna miss on here but we'll see I'm not getting rid of my charge HR too because I don't know if I'm gonna love this one as much as I did oh I'm also giving up the guided breathing the charge HR 2 had that and I really did I used it in some occasions but um, not enough to where it wasn't one of the features that I was willing to give up to go to the slimmer 
Uh, ultimately, I want the slimmest one because it, that one is kind of bulky and to wear it with everything because I pretty much wear it every day. I definitely wanted something slimmer, petite, more feminine on my wrist. So the smaller they can make this, the better for me. I'll, uh, that's why I was like okay with losing the, the stair tracker because honestly, I don't have like a flight of stairs. My house is all one level and that wasn't really a goal of mine that I did. It was cool to see like the flight of stairs on like hikes that I went to see how high the hike was. Like the other day we did like a 75 floor hike so the we went up 75 floors that was pretty cool to know that but like that's something I can give up to have it like aesthetically more pleasing I guess that's really the only thing about having the smaller one but I love it and I will have an update video for you guys on this and thank you so much for watching this like random on the weekend video but for me I'm actually filming this what's today Wednesday I'm filming it on Wednesday because I'm going on a hike today with my two best friends and my husband and you probably won't see this till Saturday or Sunday because that's when I put up non vape related videos Thanks for watching, I'm super excited, and I'll leave a link below if you wanna check out the Fitbit Charge HR, no, this is the Alta, Alta HR for yourself. Okay, bye.